Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to deploy a bonker. Okay, so I don't have a dog here that right now that needs bonked, so I'm just going to show you the technique of how you deploy a bonker. Um, let's talk about that for just a moment. Uh, bonkers are meant to be stealth. Okay, we do not threaten with bonkers. In fact, we don't threaten with any tools at all, period. So, uh, a bonker is a great tool for de-escalating arousal. In fact, it's not only a great tool, it's the best tool. It's better than a prong collar, it's better than a remote collar, it is the best tool for de-escalating arousal. Um, there's, there's nothing in here, there's no metal bar or anything crazy, it's just a cotton towel rolled up, that's all that it is. Um, when you deploy it, it, like I said, it needs to be stealth, and you're going to bring it up. Well, first off, you're going to tell the dog no for whatever it is they're doing that's wrong, that they're aroused and they need to be de-escalated. De so it's going to be no, matter of fact, just no. And then you're going to bring the bonker up and firmly throw it at the dog. Where do you hit the dog? Preferably over the head, but wherever you can. So, sometimes I get clients that tell me the bonker didn't work. I'm like, mm, the bonker works. The bonker works. It's a technique thing. So if your aim is bad, practice with a stool or a trash can or something like that and get your aim good. Okay, so no. That wasn't great. Practice again. Keep practicing until your aim gets better. Might take you five times, might take you a hundred times. But if your aim's not great, then practice on, on something that doesn't move, something that's stationary. Um, here's an example of what not to do with the bonker. So you're not gonna look at the dog and go, no, and threaten. You're not gonna do that, that is not, that is not what a bonker is designed for and that's not how we use it, we don't threaten. Um, it's simply no, <laughs> firm. Why, <clears throat> why do bonkers work so well? Because it squashes the excitement. That's why it works so well. So it's not about pain. It's not about discomfort. It's a cotton towel. I couldn't, I couldn't hurt a Yorkie with this. I can't hurt a pit bull with this. It's simply the fact that it squashes the arousal. So that's how you deploy a bonker. I hope that helps.